Well, beloved dub dub motherfuckers, what is going on, everyone? It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades, with the fire old mouth, coming to Urban. Welcome back to another awesome fucking video, guys. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. And uh, we're this is gonna be another awesome fucking video, guys. But before I dive into this bitch, I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys, my viewers, my subscribers, for sticking around watching this shit. It's the reason why I fucking do this for all of you guys. So, yay. Anyway, this is going to be eh, the fourth attempt at trying to do this, but hopefully this will work out now. This is going to be an unboxing for another model kit that I got. You know, technically, it's not my model kit, but I'll, I'll explain what it is. We're going to be unboxing the AMT 125th scale model kit of the 51 Chevy Bel Air. My MT, and this is actually my mom. Uh, this is a model kit that my mom got. My niece had bought this for my mom because she knows that my mom loves Chevy Bel Airs, but she didn't know the year. It was '57, not '51. The six-year difference. But of course, my mom, being who she is, graciously accepted and said thank you. And then after, after she left and stuff. She handed it to me and it's like, you can build this for me, right? Because I don't know shit about them. And I'm like, yeah, I can build it. So this is why I have it. Because I'm going to build it for her. So anyway, like I said, it's the AMT 125th scale Chevy Bel Air. You can build it either as a stock version or a dragster. Like it shows on here. On a simple model kit. And it is a retro deluxe edition. So, it says you can build either way showroom stock or a drag strip screamer on the cover, which is that one right there. And they did a stock version, which looks really nice. It says fun to assemble 125th scale hobby kit for molars 10 years through adulthood. And of course, paint sim and not included. Of course, no fucking dust, Sherlock. And we have the signs of the box, which looks exactly the same as the top. And the kit number is AMT 862 12. Yep. Anyway, this is right here 51 Chevy. So, it's all the stuff, with it, including your drag options, traction arms, Fisher 12-board head, tuned headers, fuel injection, roll bar. And of course on the back side we have, you know, all the normal shit that AMT has, and of course, made by Round 2. Round 2 models is awesome. And of course the ports over here for you, which I love about AMT kits, they give you a breakdown of all of the fucking stuff in the box. So now with any further ado, we're going to unbox this bitch. Let me set y'all right here so I can fucking do this right. Slide this off. Let's go ahead and grab all this shit out. I'm just going to get everything out. Just pull it all out. Set that out of the way. All right, we got a big pile of shit. And first off, we have the chrome, which is quite nice. But being an unboxing, we are going to cut this shit open. So. There we go. Here's the chrome. Looks pretty fucking good, honestly. Really nice. Really, really, really nice. The rims look really nice. The grill, the hubcaps, just everything looks fantastic. And of course, we have our clear parts. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna bag these because I don't want to scratch them up. But 
Your side windows, looks like your rear windshield and your front windshield. And right here we go, the good part. Let's go ahead and get this fucker open. Not bad looking. Definitely could tell it's an older car because the rounded body looks nice. This would be fucking fun to do. So I'm gonna have to do something about the shit on the inside there though, but oh well. That'll be dealt with. Right, next time we got, oh the fuck. We got one bag of parts. So let's go ahead and Bitch open. Oh, fucking shit. Alrighty. Alright, we got one sprue of part or multiple things of parts. Looks like parts for wheels, more wheels, rear end and suspension, and of course your drive, axle and stuff. Okay, now, looks like the inside of your fenders, your steering wheel, more rims, and your shocks. Alright, looks like paneling for the car, seat, suspension, of course the hood. Of course the hood would go like that. Ooh, wow, that's a nice fucking fit too. And finally you got your floor pan. You got your um, radiator, steering column, your battery, and of course your um, your firewall. It's all fucking nicely done. All nicely done shit. And now we got another bag of shit. Go ahead and get this bitch sliced open. Like we got components for the engine, some of the drag parts, part of the interior right there, suspension here. Like I said, interior and of course your exhaust. A lot of flash on this kit. Lots of access plastic is going to be dealt with. And of course we have the frame. Very very bare bone frame except for the back end here. It's got the gas tank and your rear wheels. For your rear wheel area we got your front seats and your back seat that's nice and finally we've got more engine parts I love building engines so this is gonna be fun got all your engine parts right here this is looks like all the engine parts and yeah yeah and another Looks like a cross member or something for that. Now we also have the tires. This is the stock tires. They look nice. They don't have anything on them, so they're not good years or anything, so that's that. We have big thick balonies, what they call these, and they are race masters. Those are nice. I might keep those. I ain't going to use them on this car, but I'll use them for something else. And of course we have the decals. Let's go ahead and open these up and I'll take a look. Alright, let's see. I don't like... I don't want to rip this bag apart because I'm going to put them back in it. There we go. Alrighty. Oh. There we go. Well, these are cool. I don't think I'll be using any of these. I'll probably maybe use one of those and one of those on the car. Other than that, the rest of these I'll probably use on something else. So I don't know. But they're cool though. I'm not gonna lie, they're awesome. And of course we have the instruction sheet. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at a little look at the instructions. Small little instructions, that ain't it. Shows you how to build the engine. Wow. Shows you either how to build um, the um, the the drag racing version or the stock version. I'll probably do the stock version, like I said, because well, like I said, I'm going to build the stock version of the car probably because my mom ain't gonna want no tuned up dragger. And there's the interior, which that's the stock version or the drag version which is stripped out there's the body the front suspension the chassis the rear suspension and the final assemblies pretty straightforward shit and finally this is weird what the fuck is this mini box series oh it's a miniature box of the model i didn't know aim i didn't know they did this shit number 51 so it's a miniature version of the actual box i guess you fold this and tape it or whatever and after you get the model done you set this next to it that's absolutely fucking awesome Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Guys, tell me if you've ever seen these before and if these come in other model kits. This is really cool. I didn't know these even come in other model fucking kit, fucking model kits. That's really fucking awesome. So that's a little miniature model box you can fold to make. The instructions. And of course this big mountainous, sorry, big mountainous pile of plastic and other shit that will build this car. Absolutely cool kit. Really cool model kit. I love old cars, so I'm really, really looking forward to building this son of a bitch. And depending on what color my mom wants to paint in it, because this is going to be her decision what color she wants it, this is going to be an awesome fucking car. It's going to be an awesome build. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's an awesome kit. If you guys would like to see a build series of this fucking kit, let me know, and I'll, I'll definitely probably do it. So there you have it. That's my unboxing of the AMT's 125th scale model of the 51 Chevy Bel Air. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave them in the fucking comment section below, and I'll get back with you. <coughs> and if you're new to the channel like the shit I do, hit that fucking subscribe button. Hit that damn notification bell. Never miss another video from yours truly ever again. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban saying a smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves. Uh, Jesus and the good Lord love y'all very much. And until next time, uh, catch you on a warm trade wind where hell anyone knows. And let's go, Brandon. Fuck Joe Biden and Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.